Hey guys, Kyle Studer at kylestuder.com. I recruit life insurance agents to become top producers in the life insurance industry. Uh, I wanted to kind of blow the whistle on something I heard just the other week. I was talking to a recruit, very good producer, very good producer, um, impressive individual, what he's been able to do and produce, right? Well, He's working in a MLM type of structure, right? And that's kind of like my specialty. Like that's where I started. So my deal is I try to talk to these agents and MLMs and tell them, hey, have you considered this? And it kind of show them my way. But I want to show you, or I want to kind of explain to you a perfect example of deception, okay? This is just confusing. Like I'm having a conversation with this guy, he's sharp and he's intelligent and we're just not able to like understand each other because I didn't understand what he was saying about his contract level, about his commission, okay? So I'm very well versed in this organization he's working with. I'm very familiar with him. And so before we talked on the phone, I messaged him, I said, so help me understand your situation, you know, where are you at now? Like what commission level are you at currently now with your current place? He said, 100%. I said, in my mind, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Because I know they top out before that. Like, they don't go that high. And so I was thinking, mm. actually, that's how I said it. I said, so where are you at over there? Are you at like an 85? Because that's where they top out, really. And uh, he said, no, 100%. I was like, oh, okay. So we got on the phone. We were talking. He's like, so when you're telling me, Kyle, you're talking to me about 100%. You're talking to me about 120% based on his production. Um, and I was like, yeah. He's like, what do you mean? That 100%, what is that 100% of? Is that like the 100% of the max amount that a carrier will pay? I was like, and hey, this is not to talk bad about this guy. Not at all. He's a very sharp individual. I like talking to him. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. Don't feel bad. This isn't about you. This is just about the mentality and what they teach, the organization you're working with. So I didn't understand the question. I said, what do you mean? He said, so if a client pays $100 a month, that's $1,200 annual premium what is my commission of the $1,200? I said, well, if you're a brand new agent with no experience, your commission is $1,200. Working with me and my agency, I start new agents at 100%. So my spread, okay, my override is smaller. That's, that's basically the deal. I have a smaller spread because I think that you are the one doing all the work. So you are the one who should get the majority of the compensation. Okay? That's not what all the organizations believe. So, to continue on this, this point here. He said, well, I'm at 100%. We were using Mutual of Omaha, Living Promise, which is their final expense product. Just one that everybody's familiar with. It's an okay product. That was just the example we used. So I said, yeah, dude. If you write a Mutual of Omaha living promise for $100 a month, your first year commission is $1,200 in the first year. Then you get a 75% advance, a nine month advance of that $1,200. That's standard across the industry, a nine month advance. And he's like, well, I'm at 100% commission right now of what the max commission is from the carrier. And I said, so when you sell a policy with Mutual of Omaha for $100 a month and it's $1,200 a year, what is your commission on that product? What is the percentage? He said, 62%. So if this is making no sense to you, basically his organization, his multi-level marketing organization, right? The one that's trying to help just elevate him to the 
level of success he's always dreamed of, right? The organization that's like got his back and taking care of him. They told him that he's at 100% of what Mutual of Omaha will compensate him for this living promise product, which is 62%. He said, yeah, this is 62% with Mutual of Omaha. That's the top level that they will compensate. So you're at 100%. Then we started talking about, he said, well, my new agents, they can come on and based on production, they can uh, make 120% commission. And so just for my conversation with I had, I had with him previously, I was like, so what does that pay? What's 120% pay, like 75%? He said, yeah. And it might have been a degree off, 73%, 76%. But their 120% level pays 70 some percent. I was like, why are they calling it 120%? Because it's deceiving. Because new agents who are naive will just assume that that's how it is everywhere. Hey man, they're calling it 100%. It's only paying me 62%, but they said it was 100% of what mutual will pay. This is 100% of what the carrier will pay. It's the max amount allowed to be paid for this product. It's amazing. That is, I told the guy, I said, and he kind of was like, man, you work with a lot of agencies, you're kind of experienced. I'm surprised you didn't know this. That's what he said to me, and I was like, well, I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you that's not true. That's not accurate information. Like, that is a lie. That is a lie. And so then I sent him commission grids. I said, hey, dude, here's Mutual of Omaha. Here's this company. Here's this company. Here's this company. Check it out. First year commission, 100%. Renewals, year two through five, X percent. Six, year six through 10, X percent. So just wanted to blow the whistle on this, guys. There is no such thing as 100% of the max amount a carrier will pay. It's not one, when I say 100% for a new agent, I don't mean it's 100% of some other number. I am talking about 100% of the annual premium. So if you write a policy with Mutual of Omaha for $2,000 a year, okay, your first year commission is $2,000. You get 75% up front. They don't advance all the money to you. They give you 75% of it. They give you a nine month advance. So if you are in an organization where the numbers are tricky, there's hoops, loops, swoops, it's difficult to comprehend. Let me tell you something. You don't have to believe me because you don't know me from Adam. But I started in an organization like this. I did this game for four and a half years, guys. And I realized when I got done with it, when I left and got perspective, I've been gone three years now, I continue to get perspective. I continue to learn new things. It just blows my mind. I mean, I've been able to save more money than I've ever had in my life. And let me tell you something, I was working a heck of a lot harder in the multi-level marketing setup. I was grinding a lot more. I was selling more insurance. I was buying more leads. I was putting up more production. How is that, Kyle? How, how, how did you sell more insurance and make less money than you're making now? It's this, what I'm talking about, this 100% of some number, this six, making 62% compared to making 110%. When in business do you just shove aside 40% gains? What kind of business owner or entrepreneur is negligent with their bottom line? So I'm going to ask you something, guys. I'm doing this video out of love. Okay, I'm not ridiculing anybody because I understand how devoted, how much energy, how much 
passion you've put into your multi-level marketing setup and the relationships you've built. These relationships, man, they are powerful. They can be kind of blinding in some instances. Um, and listen, it's not all about money. There's other things involved, right? So if you're making a conscientious decision, like you understand you could go make more money somewhere, you understand you're losing 40 to 50% of your bottom line, like when you go pay taxes, right? You under, if, if, you, if you know this and you still want to stay, that's different. But this video is for those who don't know it, those who are like me. And I've got a lot of other content online about this, guys. If you go to my channel, MLM, you type MLM. MLM Cult Leader Speaks the Truth. That is a video that tells you what was said to me the night I quit. Four and a half years into the business, hiring agents, getting $500 a week in leads, two part-time assistants, $350 a month for ZipRecruiter, Craigslist, monster resumes. I was investing in a lot. I was paying a bookkeeping service to take care of my expenses and my taxes and my self-employment taxes and my workers' comp and all of this stuff. And I was making 62% commission on whole life products, 70-some percent on term. I lost a lot of money, but I learned a lot. I'm not, I'm not hateful toward the organization, but I do think there's a better way to do it. And that's what this video is for, guys. So I'm blowing the whistle on these contract levels about 100% of some other number. That's not how it is. That's not normal, okay? If you are wondering if I'm talking about your organization, send me an email. Here's how you do it. Go to kylestuder.com. Scroll to the bottom. And there's a contact card. It comes to one of my emails that I specifically set up for new agents to reach out to me. So when I, when I get the email, I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And we can actually talk. And I'm not going to tell you how you're making a bad choice. you got to make your own decisions. You have to steer your own ship. Okay. So this is just to educate and inform you. And then you can discern for yourself. Okay, guys, hope this was helpful. Hope it made sense. Um, again, it's kylestuder.com. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Bye.